Using the salvage uh, system that we have implemented inside of the Dungeons plugin is pretty self-explanatory. Well, let's go over it and see uh, how to do it uh, and make sure that you guys understand the um, basically the entire uh, procedure on uh, adding recipes and stuff uh, so that players can go ahead and break down their items into smaller items. All right, so the first thing we have to go do is uh, we can go over to slash dungeons edit and you can find your quests here. Uh, I forgot to mention in our quest video that you can go ahead and uh, uh, look at entities spawned. Obviously we have the one we found in the video of the quests that we spawned in. We can always manage those. Um, and we can also enable or disable. This is recommended if you are making quests that you disable all quests until you're done with that. For now though, let's go over to our salvage in dungeons edit. And here we can go ahead and do some uh, options and stuff here. So we can go ahead and see our NC spawned. Uh, we don't have our salvager up and running yet. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's head over to our dungeon hub. So as you can see, we have our quester up here. We have our missions guy down here. Let's go ahead and put our uh, salvager at our lowest level here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that you have slash dungeons edit. Uh, in your slash dungeons edit um, hub thing that you have spawn mobs enabled. We're going to do slash dungeons create and then we're going to do salvager. That's going to spawn our salvager um, NPC here and as you can see we can access him. The GUI is pretty simple. Uh, you can go ahead and place items in the left hand slot and you can break it down into items that will appear here in the right hand slot. You can view salva salvageable items by just clicking that button there to view all the recipes that are configured by the uh, admin or you. And you can return to the salvage and start trying to break down items. Obviously we don't have any recipes to break down yet. Uh, so anything we put in here, nothing's going to come out. If we do exit it, we get our items back. So uh, no harm done in that. All right, back over to slash Dungeons edit. Let's go over to our salvage and uh, entity spawn. You can see that is the entity right here that we just spawned in. Uh, so it's pretty cool that we can manage it that way. We can go ahead and teleport to him all we want. And we can delete him if we'd like as well. All right, so we can enable or disable uh, salvage um, recipes or not. So if we disable it, uh, we can see that we can't access him. But if we enable it, we can go ahead and access it just fine. So let's enable it. So to create your first recipe, all you have to do is go to Sus Dungeons and then Salvage. And in here, we can go ahead and create our recipe. And as you can see, we have a empty recipe right here. If we do go ahead and save and exit without adding anything in, uh, it'll look blank. But if you click on the first slot here, it's actually there. So uh, keep that in mind when you're creating recipes that you are actually creating empty ones, even if you don't put anything in. So let's go ahead and place our diamond axe in here. The top one is the item that you want broken down. So that what the player can place in to the left hand slot. And these slots here tell, uh, tell the plugin what you'd like to give them in exchange for it. So let's give them uh, three diamonds and a fishing rod. Why not? So let's go ahead and save and exit. And as you can see, when we access the uh, recipe yet again, we can see the items that it breaks down into and we can always change that as needed. So now if we go over to the dungeon salvager, if we add in a diamond, nothing happens. But let's go ahead over and add a diamond X to the salvager. And as you can see, our items do appear at the right hand side. If we do click on one of the items, the other item gets automatically added to our inventory and the item disappears. This is just to prevent uh, duping and uh, uh, just overcomplicating things. Everything, once you select one, gets added to your inventory. Let's add another recipe right here. So we're gonna add a golden hoe breakdown recipe. So let's go into sticks. Uh, let's add two sticks and two gold. So we're gonna go over to slash dungeons salvage. We're going to create a new recipe. We're going to add our hoe at the top, our golden sticks, save and exit. All right, our recipe has been configured. And if, once we go into the salvager, let's get our diamond, uh, gold hoe and diamond axe. If we add our golden hoe and diamond axe, you can see both of the rewards pop up. If we just claim one of them, uh, the other one remains. We can go ahead and remove this all we want, or we can go ahead and claim the items. So everything is uh, extremely easy for the player. All they have to do is click in items into here and collect their rewards or their salvage uh, recipe. 
And that's it for salvage. Uh, all you're doing is adding recipes and uh, allowing players to break down bigger items to smaller items, uh, depending on what you want to do. It's that simple. Uh, if you need any more help, contact me on Discord. Uh, but other than that, uh, thanks for watching.